guys, welcome to another episode of Mother to Daughter. I'm so pleased you've joined me for today's special topic. But before we get in, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and the mom of an 11 year old. So believe me, I know about these things. Today's topic is where does my period come from? So yes, if your daughter has recently started her period and wants to understand where all this is coming from, please watch this video so you can explain or you're in a better position to explain what's going on. So the first thing to say is, let's go back to the basics. Right from the time that women are born, we have our ovaries which contain all the eggs we're going to have until the day that our reproductive life stops, that is when we stop menstruating. A connection happens between our brains, our ovaries and our wombs, the different parts of our reproductive organs, that helps to decide when the period happens and this is the way it works. So at some point your brain sends a message using special chemicals which are known as hormones. Some of these special messengers go to your ovaries which contain all these eggs that you've had since you were born and they say to your ovary, can we start getting a couple of these eggs ready? And so these eggs start to grow and grow. At the same time, these special messengers, the hormones, send a message to your womb saying, hey, something's going on in the ovaries and there may be a visitor coming very soon. Now, back to the ovaries. After a few days, a couple of these eggs are mature, but only one is mature enough to be released from the ovary. And this mature egg travels from the ovary through a special tube that connects the ovary to the rest of the womb known as the fallopian tube and as it travels in the tube this egg may be fertilized by a sperm this is how people get pregnant and so what happens in any woman is that the egg continues its journey into the womb and when it arrives in the womb the body sends a message saying well fertilization hasn't happened this egg hasn't met with the sperm and the egg can only survive about 48 hours so after 48 hours that egg which your body released which your ovary released will disintegrate or it will die at the same time all that preparation that happened in your womb which is your womb was getting a bit thicker the muscle in your womb was getting a bit bigger it had a lot more blood vessels because it was simply trying to get ready for an egg that had been fertilized all that preparation stops and all that extra tissue those extra blood vessels they die off as well this material the egg and the bits and tissue the bits of tissue from the egg and the extra muscle and tissue and blood vessels from the womb all this material is what makes up your period this is what happens every single month your body gets rid of all that dead tissue through the period blood so when you start your period it's simply getting rid of that egg which hasn't been fertilized which hasn't been turned into a baby and bits of your womb which aren't going to be used anymore all that is being taken care of through your period and so most girls will bleed for three four five days and that's the period blood gone away from their system and your body is so special after all that happens you rest a little bit and a few days go by and then your brain sends another message down to the ovary again and says hey we've come to this time of the month again please start getting ready another egg it might get fertilized and the same journey goes over and over and this is your menstrual cycle so that my dears is where the period comes from thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video useful next time we're going to be talking about why a period sometimes so uncomfortable is that normal and we're also going to be looking at what does it mean when my period blood looks red or brown or black Take care guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye!